The Norfolk Terrier is one of the smallest of all terriers, but even though they are small in size, it is a breed with a big personality. There are top 10 interesting facts about the Norfolk Terrier. I would love to thank Bertie for letting me use its photos in this video. If you will like the Norfolk Terrier and you would love to see more of it, definitely check him out. Link is in description. Number 1. Origin the Norfolk Terrier can trace its history to the area in the East England known as East Anglia to the mid 1800s. We are not sure what is the exact ancestry of this breed, but it's believed that the clan of Amals, Dandy Dinmonts, and Cairn Terriers, alongside with the Irish Terrier and local small Red Terriers, played a role in the breed's development. Throughout the history, this breed was known under some other names like Cantab Terrier, Trumpington Terrier, or in the USA as a Jones Terrier. Number 2. Norfolk vs Norwich For a long time the Norfolk and Norwich Terriers were viewed as a single breed. The first breed standard for them was written in 1932 and it included two varieties, pricked and dropped ear type. Later, in 1964, the breed was separated into two different breeds. The pricked eared variety continued to be called as Norwich Terrier, while the dropped ear type was from now on known as the Norfolk Terrier. Number 3. Utilization even though the Norfolk Terrier looks like a cuddly teddy bear, it is a living hunter with a true terrier spirit. Thanks to their low and short-legged body, they were great for hunting foxes and badgers, but they were also used as great ratters. These dogs have great characteristics for hunting, they are brave, intelligent, but also independent, agile and lively, curious and they have high prey drive and great senses. All these traits makes them very good at hunting. Number 4. Companions The Norfolk Terrier is not only a great hunter, but also affectionate and sociable companion dog. These dogs are pack animals and their pack is their family. These dogs are softer than majority of other terriers, which is why they are also great fit for living with kids and they typically do not have problems with other dogs in the family as well. Of course, other smaller household pets might be problematic due to the Norfolk Terrier's higher prey drive, but this can be vastly influenced by early socialization. Overall, this is an amazing, affectionate and loving family pet. Number 5. Exercise Even though quite active, the Norfolk Terrier is also a very adaptable breed, which means that they will need daily exercise to stay healthy and happy, but they will adapt to its owners and they will enjoy almost any exercise with them. It can be longer walks, hikes, good playtime or fun training sessions. Majority of Norfolk Terriers also like water and they enjoy swimming. It is important to regularly exercise your dog, otherwise they may develop some unwanted behavior like digging or excessive barking. Number 6. Size The Norfolk Terrier is one of the smallest of all terriers. It has short legs and compact and strong body. The average height is between 23 to 25 centimeters, which is 9 to 10 inches, and the weight is usually around 5 kilograms, which is 11 pounds. There are no extreme size differences between males and females. Number 7. Coat The official FCA breed standard describes the Norfolk Terrier's coat as hardy, wiry, straight and lying close to the body. The coat should be longer and rougher on the neck and shoulders. On the other hand, the hair on the head and ears are shorter and smoother. You can find this breed in all shades of red, wheaten, black and tan or grizzle. Number 8. Watchdogs just like majority of terriers, even the Norfolk Terrier likes to bark, which can actually make them good watchdogs, as they will most likely alert you when they will hear or see something suspicious around their home. But of course, due to their small size, they were never used for actual protection and guarding. Number 9. Maintenance this is double coated dog and just like all the double coated dogs they do shed some deal of fur all year long. They do shed more heavily twice a year. Because of that regular brushing and combing is very beneficial for the coat and it will reduce the shedding. It is also recommended to hand strip the coat approximately twice a year. It is better to hand stripping the coat rather than clipping it. Just like with any other breed, you should regularly check the dog's ears, eyes, nails and teeth and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 10. Health 
The Norfolk Terrier is generally healthy and hardy breed with a lifespan between 13 to 15 years. Of course, just like any other dog breed, they may suffer from some health issues, which might include mitral valve disease, cataracts, patella luxation or hip dysplasia. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Norfolk Terrier and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocadox links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.